are many things. That you can learn. Yes, there are. We uh, have a few things on today I think people are going to be excited about as well. In fact, we are uh, doing some cooking with Made With Love, and we're going to, de we're going to demystify yes. uh, salad dressings and how to make a good salad dressing taste delicious. So we're going to check in right now with Colin and find out how to do that. Thanks, like Susan. We're going to take a few really simple ingredients and combine them to make dressings and show you various things that you can do with dressings beyond salad as well, too, and how handy, handy they are to have around the house. All right, you guys, thank you, because guess what? Craft is pretty much as demystifying <laughs> as I get, so we're going to look forward to that. <laughs> All right, as well, we have Tracy Moffat here from Royal Welcome back to Midday, and we are doing a little bit of uh, demystifying salad dressings <laughs> with Made With Love Delectable Edibles. Alexandra and Colin, Happy New Year to you both. And Happy New Happy Year to you. Year. Thank you. Um, I know our segment's a bit shorter than normal, so I don't want to take up too much time talking and chitty chattying. So uh, what do we have underway here? Well, basically, we're going to show you the basic gist for making salad dressing. Okay. Because pretty much any salad dressing, you're mixing something that's tart with something that's fatty and you're mixing it together and making it taste good. So your general proportions for a salad dressing, like any type of vinaigrette, yes. is about a quarter of a cup acid to three quarters of a cup oil. And with that, you can use pretty much any options you want. Colin's got over there, what are you doing, love? Okay, well I'm doing a, a creamy salad dressing, actually. I'm, I have a third of a cup of yogurt and a third of a cup of mayonnaise mixed in already with two tablespoons of honey, which is an eighth of a cup. And I'm squeezing in the juice of one whole lime. I've already mm -hmm. gone halfway here with that. So he's got his fat proportions taken out by the mayonnaise and the, the yogurt. Right. The acid is the lime, right? Most people like about one quarter acid to three quarters of fat. Okay. But you know, you can switch that up. Some people do half and half. Some people do a third and two thirds. What I'm going to do over here is what we can do with our spice blends, right? This is the Crimson Love blend and I'm going to just add into my jar here two tablespoons. And the way that I know I'm adding two tablespoons is because this funky bottle has a um, measure mark on the bottom. Wow. So if you get a close up of that, right where there. this line is, nice. is two tablespoons. You guys that think was, ahead. Nice work. That was actually entirely accidental, but it works really well. <laughs> so Say it was on purpose. throw in my Fine. two <laughs> tablespoons of Crimson Love. Yep. And I'm going to do this one a light colored dressing. Okay. So my options here could be lime juice or rice wine vinegar or some sort of um, white balsamic vinegar, even apple cider. I think um, I'm going to go with the rice wine vinegar. And then in another bottle here, I've already got my Primavera with about a quarter cup of balsamic. And I'm just going to ask you, Susan, pour in the olive oil there. Mm -hmm. How much of this? Um, you can pretty much fill it up right to that neckline. Okay. And basically, I've put in my spice blends now. So I put in a tablespoon of the red pepper and the garden curry blends. And I have it in my little handy jar here for mixing. So I just give it a shake. Mm -hmm. And then the great thing about doing it in a jar like this is that you have salad dressing. You can put in, <laughs> you can put in the fridge. Woo! Just a and little spell. Oh, you've cleaned up the Wait, stove. Really good. And we love throwing things around the stove here. You guys can all um, tell. So I'm also going to pour about three quarters of a cup olive oil mm -hmm. into my Crimson Love dressing here. And then the last part about salad dressings is sweetness. Do you like a dressing that's really tart and sharp? Do you like a dressing that's a little bit pungent? Do you like a dressing that's sweet? The one that Colin's got going there, he's used two tablespoons of honey to sweeten up that curry dressing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave the Primavera as is because that one's really nice sun-dried tomato flavor with the balsamic. I think that's got enough sweetness. But this Crimson Love one, I'm going to put on a butter lettuce salad there with raspberries and red onion. And so I do actually want to sweeten it up a bit. So I'm going to open up this maple syrup mm, yum. and just give it a tablespoon or two. Now that really can be to taste. So all we've done here, guys, is put the, the spice, whatever you want. Now you can use fresh spices out of your garden. You can use one of our blends. You can use pretty much anything you like the taste of to give it a little bit of, of flavor there. And then about a tablespoon and a half of maple syrup I'm putting in this guy because I love maple syrup. 
So then just give it a shake. Now, I'm going to give this to you, and we're not going to throw it on the stove again. We're going to try not to. Because we're going to try best. and keep it all in one place. Okay, we've got about 30 seconds left, you guys. So uh, any last little tips and advice before we uh, take a break? We'll come back at the end of the show and see how it all looks, though. What I find the easiest way for me to eat salads on a regular basis, make them like an everyday thing, mm -hmm. is to use some of these grab-and-go things. Yes. The organic baby salad mix there, it's already in the bowl. So you can toss, here, give that one a shake. <coughs> Toss mm. some Primavera on that. Maybe <coughs> a little handful of the organic grape tomatoes that they've got at Cooper's today, or some broccoli sprouts, and you're done with that one. Awesome. So you want to give the, that on there, Susan. Okay. And then mine down here, I'm just going to throw some on the red onion, the fresh organic raspberries, and the butter lettuce. So what you're getting is like really simple. No work, but you're getting those healthy nutrients that you really want to Absolutely. fit into your diet. Excellent, you guys. We're going to check in with you at the end of the show. Have a little sample. It's going to be delicious. Thank you very much. <laughs> when we come back, we're talking to uh, Treetop Flyers. They've got a great tourist attraction idea for Chase. We'll find out about it in just a minute. Stay with us. The overnight, the overnight low tomorrow, tomorrow we'll see a mix, a mix of, of sunny clouds, highs, highs of zero. Of zero. And we're back with Made with Love Delectable Edibles. Things are looking very good. How did it all work out? It's gone well. We've got three, three dressings up here now. So we have on the right, we have our Crimson Love and a vinaigrette. Delicious. And this is like a sort of combining, sort of we have fruit on the salad and then sort of the, the type of grab and go thing that you can throw on. Yes. We have raspberries here and then cherry tomatoes here. And here we have the other use for dressing, which is commonly not thought of, but which is basically the same thing, which is a marinade, right? So you're marinating it, and then and you can throw it on the grill. Yeah, and that's mm. the type of thing, you know, you make some dressing, you throw it, throw it in the fridge, and then it's like, well, what do I do with it? Put it on something else and cook it. Excellent. And it's just a way, great way of going about it. We have demystified the salad dressing experience, people. That's thank you very right. much for that. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for being on today. I think we're out of time, so we're going to say goodbye. Have a great afternoon. We'll be back here tomorrow at noon. We'll talk to you then.